Now let us come to the thermal energy. Okay. Now what happens if I heat the molecules? Where does that heat energy go? The law of conservation of energy tells me that it must be stored somewhere. Fine. It must be stored somewhere. So let us say uh, I take a stone and, and put it in fire. So some amount of heat energy is absorbed by that stone. And if you try to, try to take it out of that fire, you'll find it is hot. Fine. What has happened to that much amount of energy which has got transferred into the, into the stone? Or, or say, say, say let, let, it be, let it be an iron cube. Okay. So if you put it in, in, in fire, Obviously, it will get hot and, and, and if you take it out, maybe it becomes red hot or maybe okay, burning hot. White. So what happens? White hot is after red hot. Okay? <clears throat> Incandescence is white hot. So what has happened? What has happened? The heat energy that went into it, into it made its particles vibrate at its own position till it has not melted okay so what happens since it is a still a solid it has not lost its shape so it means that on an average all the molecules that that are there or all the all the atoms that are there of of fe they have not changed place if they change place it will liquefy okay it's still solid it means they have not changed place, but they absorbed heat and started vibrating about their mean position. It was not as if they were not earlier vibrating, but their velocity will go up. So the amount of heat that actually got transferred, excluding all the waste, did what? It increased the velocity of vibration. So, so by that, that account, it actually increased the kinetic energy of the atoms inside that cube. Correct. You understand it? So, so, so in, a, in, 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 in solids or liquids, the thermal energy inputted energy inputted into the into into the bulk increases the velocity of vibration increases the velocity of vibration about the mean position in liquids in liquids it also starts flowing from one place to another but that is apart from the vibration that it undergoes it's still undergoing some amount of vibration while it is seated at one place okay it is only the gases which do not vibrate about a mean position they actually start shooting very fast in all directions okay so, <clears throat> increase the velocity of vibration about the mean position and thus increases the kinetic energy of the kinetic energy of the molecules. Okay. Fine. Potential is not zero. Mm -hmm. Potential is not zero. No, no. No, no. The potential actually it keeps on going from potential to kinetic, kinetic to potential. It actually is like a spring mass system, you know. So, so if it is going like this. 
okay whenever there is a vibration there has to be a spring kind of thing okay and whenever it is that it always will have potential energy otherwise if it's all kinetic uh, things are different it, it's all kinetic in case of gases okay otherwise then it will not rebound back fine it's all it's all kinetic so if it goes like this it has to be a spring mass system so it's not all kinetic so it keeps on getting see 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 when it goes at this end it stops all that energy gets stored into it as potential energy it has to be okay and then it gets transformed and and like a spring mass system right it goes like a spring mass system hmm? lcr circuit but but uh, you they won't understand at this stage so 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 main position uh, and thus increases the kinetic energy of the molecule in gases in gases the the molecules start moving faster the molecules molecules start moving faster but do not vibrate about a mean position but do not vibrate about a mean position But speed increases fine okay mean position means what it keeps on retracing that position back back and forth back and forth hmm? to and fro motion and and there's another thing you know if things are left if the if the external forces are are removed then what happens it comes and settles at the mean position that's what a mean position is so 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 mind it I have a circular track, okay. I I have a smooth wooden circular track, okay. And and I and I keep a keep a steel ball here and I hit it. So obviously it keeps on keeps on going around and around and around. It keeps on retracing that path, but none is a mean position. Why? Because if left to itself, it might not come back to that position. It'll it'll maybe stop there. Or there, or here, or there. So even though it is retracing its paths, path, say, 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 the Earth's motion around the Sun, it's it's not a not an oscillatory motion. It has to have a mean position, and mean position means if 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 everything goes away, then then it always comes and settles there. So so a pendulum has a mean position. The vertical is the mean position. The spring mass system has a of yes yes yeah 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 you can. You can calculate the mean position. Yes, the, the, and and where will the mean position be? Where will the mean position be? Where it starts? No, 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 no. You can pull a spring mass system to one extreme and leave it, but but will not uh, come and uh, stop there. Hmm. Nothing obvious. Where the net force is zero, but but there is another condition that 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 I'll come later. But leave it. We we will go into physics of it. But physics of it is 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 enticing. It's very interesting. Okay, so 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 it starts moving faster, but does not uh, vibrate about a mean position. Now, if you look at the thermal energy, it is a randomizing force. No, if they start moving. Suddenly, and, and you keep on increasing heat. Suddenly, what happens? They vibrate so wildly that they actually break free. What is keeping the what is keeping the solid molecules together? The so intermolecular inter forces. Now, what has it done? What has it done? It has it, the heat. Heat has led to so much of vibration that that the, that force might get broken at one point of time. And the whole thing will start changing phase, and and it will become liquid. It will change change state. And you keep on heating a liquid, 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 and and suddenly it will become gas, and that will be the boiling point. So so what does heat do? Heat is a counter force of the intermolecular attractive force, is it not? So the thermal energy. Does 
द थर्मल एनर्जी इज अ इज अ इज अ थर्मल एनर्जी प्रोवाइड्स अ फोर्स फोर्स काउंटर टू द फोर्स अगेंस्ट द इंटर मॉलिक्यूलर अट्रैक्टिव फोर्सेस इंटर मॉलिक्यूलर अट्रैक्टिव फोर्सेस फाइन okay now maybe at this temperature at room temperature you might feel it's not hot but that that is not what is important <coughs> what is important is still it takes the heat from the ambience and keeps vibrating maybe maybe with a smaller smaller speed but but it does okay so so what we think what we see as a static conglomeration aggregation of molecules is actually not static at the molecular level a, a, a metallic cube or maybe even this wall that is vibrating correct okay and that motion is known as the thermal motion okay the the movement of the molecules the movement of the molecules or atoms due to the thermal energy is called is called thermal motion okay now we come to intermolecular forces forces versus the thermal interactions okay <clears throat> now try to understand the the intermolecular attractive forces are trying to keep the keep the bulk together okay the thermal energy is trying to take them apart correct fine so the intermolecular attractive forces attractive forces and the forces and the and the and the force due to the thermal energy due to the thermal energy act opposite to each other okay so while one is a binding force another is a is a is a randomizing force okay it takes it apart <coughs> dissipative no dissipative has another connotation one binds another unbinds sorry okay 
dissipate means something that has fizzled out kind of in in atmosphere and you cannot bring it back dissipative is uh, normally used for energy and not for masses so uh, is it thermal dissipation or thermal interaction thermal interaction is is a repulsive force is a repulsive force okay now what happens the states of matter that we see around us is due to the due to the predominance of one and the and the and the and the um, what is the word hmm? due to the predominance on one, of one and the passivity of the other okay so 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 the the three states of matter the three states of matter this recessive recessive is something that is not very accurate yes no. the three states of matter matter arise due to the dominance of of due to the dominance of the intermolecular forces over the thermal energy or vice versa okay so for example in solids okay if if i if i talk about solids then in solids liquids gases where do you think the intermolecular attractive force is higher solids. in the solids it should be the highest right so i kind of mark it like this <clears throat> intermolecular forces this is how they increase okay so in the gases it is the least then then let us write it like that in the liquids it is higher and in the solid it is still higher right highest the highest in the and okay and how about the the impact of the thermal energy that is the least in in the solids it's not completely absent and and intermediate in the liquids and and the the highest in the gases is it not so so thermal Energy correct. So, in gases, the intermolecular attraction is so less. so less and the thermal energy that's why becomes so dominant that they that, that they that they does in a solid 
the intermolecular forces are are uh, are the highest and though there is some randomizing influence due to the thermal energy it is not so high that it will break the it will it will be able to break away the 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 attraction uh, the attractive forces and it is able to at one point of time it is able to break that and and that point is the cutoff point for for the melting point okay that's where it is able to overcome and why only that you keep on you keep on heating it and at one point of time it will it will become a gas why? Because you have supplied so much of energy to it, so much of energy to it that has broken all the bondings that it was earlier going on, and 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 the and the particles have escaped as one atom or one molecule each around. <coughs> okay. Okay. And and then then once it becomes gas, you'll not be able to maybe bring bring it back to 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 a liquid. Okay. So so it's not as as solid or as hard as it was it's fine so so a gas of iron atoms or a gas of hydrogen atoms is all the same fine so and and the same with the gases the gases they have the least amount of intermolecular attractive forces so so even the least of the <coughs> thermal energy is able to move them apart with such great speeds right what I think somewhere around 2600, 2800, somewhere 1300, around 12, 1300, it, it melts and somewhere around in the range of 3000. I am not pretty sure exact, but somewhere there it evaporates. Okay. <clears throat> Above 4, 5000, I think every element evaporates. Mm -hmm. So you drop a nuclear bomb somewhere and everything there will evaporate the buildings and the trees and everything. Okay. It all becomes vapor. Mm -hmm. So, okay, fine. 